these next two are, are, are what next week's lesson's all about. Uh, it's gone one no, one no by the north hand, pass, two diamonds. So, um, this is so basically next week's class is about when they interfere with our Jacoby transfers and our stamen and or if they double for the lead and uh, and just talking about how to navigate it. So uh, just quickly double here is lead directing. It says I want a diamond lead partner, but you also when you do double for the lead, you should always have length in their suit. So so this is the kind of a should have been the start at every table one no pass two diamonds double asking for the lead and now. How we proceed from here is what is something that we'll get into next week. Uh, next, yeah, next week, one one fifteen. Uh, I've talked about this before if you came to my free bid class. Uh, but so basically, in general, over this double, two hearts says I have a fit. And pass says I don't have a fit. Well, I'm not going to get too deep into it today. But uh, one extra tool that experts all universally say is redouble says, I have a fit for you and I have a hand that really wants to compete to three if, if it comes down to it. Because what happens on hands like these is if you just bid two arts in this hand, East has a pretty good three diamond bid. They, they have a fit for their partner's lead directing suit. They're not vulnerable and they can compete to the three level. I, I don't know if people actually did find that, but this is it. So if it goes two hearts, three diamonds, Obviously, South has a Yarborough. So South is just like, I'm done. But now North has no idea whether their partner has like six points or five points or nothing. And North really wants to compete. So the way experts handle this, and this is now a universal treatment uh, at high level, is Redouble says, I have a fit for you in, in, in hearts. And I really want to compete, but not obviously when you have zero points. Uh, so... And now it goes three diamonds. And now when South passes, North can say, well, I already showed my hand, so I'm just going to pass. Uh, so though I'm sure some of you, if they did bid three diamonds, did compete to three hearts with North uh, and you went down two, or maybe they doubled you, but they probably didn't double you. Um, we're not worried about siding the contract. In fact, uh, we're we would rather play it from the South hand once they've had a lead directing double because they already know what they're going to lead. Uh, so, so there's no advantage to playing it from the North hand uh, at all. And sometimes South is even going to have the King of diamonds or the queen third of diamonds or something. Um, sorry. So, so did anybody play in three hearts going two down? That's the real question. Cause that's what I think would have happened if you didn't have that tool available. That's what I would expect to happen is, is North couldn't contain themselves and would have competed to the three level. Uh, so redouble. No, with a super except you promised four card support. Redouble says I only have three card support and a maximum. That's, that's kind of the general, general treatment by, and again, it's universally played. It's all at the, at the World Championships, every single person that plays transfers plays redouble as that. Um, so, uh, but if, if people didn't find that three diamond bid, then it probably didn't matter. Like a, a lot of tables, I'm sure, went two hours, pass, pass, pass. It's really important to find that three diamond bid by East. Uh, it's the winning part score bid. It's like a law of total tricks thing. Uh, if the opponents have an eight card fit and we have an eight card fit and we're not vulnerable, we definitely want to be bidding to three diamonds. And that would have won the hand for you. Anybody that found the three diamond bid one way or another, uh, you were going to beat the people who are in three hearts uh, because you only had four losers in three diamonds, I think, uh, unless they found a club lead which which was going to be tough for them we'll get more into that anyway next week uh so it's paid lead in a club shift yeah yeah sure but i think it's just normal to lead a heart in that auction so most people would lead a heart and they're going to make three diamonds but even beating three diamonds you yeah, know no beating three diamonds would be a good good result because two hearts was going down yeah north south uh so okay the next one was was one no pass two diamonds and this is just another really important spot first of all just to talk the north hand the north hand uh, i want to talk about when to overcall so there's actually two ways you can overcall spades when they've transferred you could either pass first let them finish the transfer and have it come back around to you and balance or you can overcall directly. When you overcall directly, you're showing a much better hand. You're saying like, I have a full value overcall partner. It might be our hand. We might even have a game because sometimes when they open one no and they transfer, like we just saw the previous board, sometimes the transfer has zero and the no trump opener has 15 or 14. Um, so, uh, and, and so it could be our hand. 
So, no, this is just natural spades. It has nothing to do with the minor. Uh, if you wanted to bid Michaels, you could bid two arts Michaels. That's, that, would be, that would be Michaels for sure. Um, uh, but no, two spades is just spades. Uh, and now uh, this is just the, 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 the general idea. First of all, the no Trump bidder pretty much never bids again in this spot, right? They're, they're not really allowed to bid again because, again, their partner could have zero. So you can't commit to the two or three level, uh, or to the three level or two no Trump with the East hand. It's too much. It might have worked out OK for you on this hand if you bid something, but but you can't do it because your partner could still have nothing. So typically the one no Trump bidder is just going to pass and it's going to go pass. And now when you see this West hand, what you would really like to do is come back and bid your diamonds. You don't really want to defend two spades when you probably have an eight card fit and you probably have a half the deck. It doesn't look right to defend two spades, but you need to be able to bid three diamonds and not have partner take you seriously and not make you think that you are just transferring to hearts and then bidding diamonds like like with a game forcing hand. And so this is something we will get into pretty significantly in in the lesson that when 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 West has ten points or nine points and it was going to game, the bid that they would make would be double. Double would say it's like I have values and I want to go forward. And that's what double would make. And when so so and I'll talk more about that next week for sure. But so what that allows us, because we always double when we have values, what that allows us to do is balance with three diamonds natural and to play on a hand like this, uh, where partner now can just pick between our two suits and we can compete properly against the, the, over two spades. So this is how the auction should go. Uh, if you if you kind of everybody's on the same page, but you really got to be on the same page about that three diamond bid because it's you got to believe it's not a retransfer and that it doesn't show strength. It's just balancing competing over there two two of a major. Uh, again, so we'll all dig into that. That's one of the subjects of our class. We're going to talk about stamen when they double stamen, when they double our transfers, when they overcall over our transfers, when they overcall over our stamen. Uh, we're going through all of that stuff, and I'll really show you some, lots of examples that can kind of illustrate every aspect of it. No, double there would say I have a game going values. It's kind of like a dealing with overcalls double. It just says I have like eight or nine points. I was planning on looking towards game eight plus, like nine plus. I was at least inviting, sending it to game. It's next Friday called or more No Trump Interference. And you can go and sign up uh, on upcoming classes on my website, more No Trump Interference.